Hello, everyone. In this video, we will introduce Bucky sort and Radix sort. In all the uh, previous sorting algorithms, we compare the elements in order to determine their order. It's proven that if you have to compare the elements, the best time you can get, it's out of n log n time. So that's optimum for the uh, uh, heap sort and merge sort you get in the worst case, it's out of n log n, that's already optimal. You can not do even better. But there's another way we can do it is if you don't compare the elements. Now, look, um, we can sort uh, students in a class uh, of their last name in alphabetic order. So what we do is we can just put, uh, have the uh, uh, 26 buckets. So for students, Adam goes to the first bucket, for student Buckley go to the second bucket, and for student Zach and go to the last bucket. So this is the, uh, uh, then we just collect every student's back from the buckets. So they are all sorted alphabetically. And we did not compare the students by their alphabetical order. So that is to use bucket sort. Now let's do um, radix sort for the numbers. We have um, now the, uh, the numbers, um, number. Let's look at the integers and look at the digits. So let's assume we have only three digits. All right, so this is the, uh, the buckets here. We have, we're gonna have 10 buckets, okay? So this is the radix of 10 for the decimal integer. So what we're gonna do is to look at the last digit. So the last one, so it's one. And we're gonna put this, uh, the bucket for the number one. So this is one here, three, three, one. And this is the uh, four, and it goes to uh, the bucket four, it's four, five, four. And this is uh, zero, it goes to uh, the bucket zero, it's two, three, zero right here. So now the last one, nine, and it goes to right here. So this is the bucket. All right, we have all the numbers, they're sorted on the last digit, and we collect all this back. Right here, now they are 230, 331, 231, and 343. Three. So all the numbers are here. And now we're going to uh, look at the second last digit and use the bucket here. 230 goes to the bucket 3230. And 331, and it goes to right here, 331, the bucket three. And this is nine. It does not have anything before nine. So this is the, uh, the uh, second uh, digit from the last, it's zero. So it, nine goes to right here, nine. All right, after all this, you collect all this back here. You, pick, you have the, the, the numbers nine, two, three, zero, two, three, one, and three, three, one, so all of this. And now let's look at the last digit. So that's the, uh, the, the first digit. It's actually the first digit and the last one. So then we're gonna do this again and put them into the bucket. And after all this, so this is all the numbers collected back, they are sorted. So that is to use the radix sort. You sort the numbers, the last digit, second last digit, third last digit, fourth last digit, and until the last one. So this is the animation and we have all these numbers. So we're gonna start the, the last digit seven. So it goes to right here. This is the one here, seven. And this is five, four, seven, five, one, nine, four, three. This is a four, six, three, zero, zero, Five. All right, so we're going to collect all this back. It's uh, eight, four, zero, 
a zero. So this is the last digit is sorted. And now we're gonna sort the second one. So this is four, it goes to four. Uh, eight, five, four, seven, two, nine, three, one, six, six, five, nine, eight, three. All right, I'm going to collect them back. It's 915. So it goes first to 915, uh, 324. So, so the last two digits are now sorted. So finally, we're going to sort the, uh, this first digit. So this is 9, 3, 1, 1, 8, 1, 8, 5, 1, 9, eight, nine. All right, for this eight, zero. So this is the uh, first digit in the, uh, with this, the position three digits, the first one here is zero. So this goes to right here, 80. And next one is seven. This is nine, four is goes to this right here and zero. And this seven. So now collect everything back. So we're done. It's everything sorted. Okay. So this is the uh, radix sort. Radix sort, the time complexity, it's all of n times d. So n is the number of uh, uh, the elements you have. You sort n numbers. So the n and d is the number of digits, the maximum number of digits. So n times d, that's the time complexity for radix sort. That is all for this section, um, bucket sort and radix sort. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.